Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 jokes that only adults would get in the Emperor's New Groove. Oh, he's doing his own theme music? Uh, hi, excuse me, two seconds here. Um, I'm the one in the car, remember? This story's about me, not him. Tell us where the talking llama is, or oh, we'll burn your house to the ground. For this list, we'll be looking at gags and jokes that may be geared more to an older audience. These may be through innuendo, popular culture references, or clever depictions of idioms that might have gone over your head when you were younger. Which jokes went over your head as a kid? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Grizzly Tale of the Fly when Cusco as Llama wanders alone in the jungle, he hears a cry for help from a fly stuck in a spider's web, moments before it gets eaten. Elfie! 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 <laughs> <laughs> this reminds us of a similar scene from 1958's The Fly, a horror sci-fi flick in which a freak accident causes a man and fly's anatomy to fuse together. You'll be all right now. I know it's worth <laughs> The manfly also gets caught up in a spider's web and meets an equally gruesome end. If that's not creepy enough, one fan theory suggests Cusco only understood the talking fly because, like him, the insect was once human. Maybe it's better that this one went over our heads back then. Okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Number 9. Lions and Tigers and Bears Oh my, do we love a good old The Wizard of Oz throwback. Put em up, put em up! In a race against time, Cusco and Pacha search through Yzma's lair, looking for the potion that will return the Emperor to his human form. Huh? When Pacha finally finds her potions cabinet, he takes a closer look at each bottle within. Yzma's organizational skills are the perfect setup for this joke. And she even arrives just in time to land the punchline. It has to be one of these. Lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. Apparently, the creative team were very reluctant to include this reference, but Disney's head of feature animation, Thomas Schumacher, insisted. Lions. And tigers. And bears. <gasps> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. It might be an oldie, but it's a classic. Number 8. What's really going on between Yzma and Kronk? From what we can gather, Yzma has a certain type when it comes to choosing her henchmen. Every decade or so, she gets a new one. This year's model is called Kronk. Kronk is actually quite sweet and gentle, but several nuts short of a full pouch, if you know what we mean. Is something burning? <gasps> My spinach pus! Still, what he lacks in brains, he more than makes up for in brawn. This seems to lead Cusco to believe that Kronk and Yzma's relationship might not be just professional. So, he seems nice. Uh, he is. He's what, in his late 20s? Uh, I'm not sure. As children, we probably took this moment at face value. After all, your late 20s did seem quite old back then but the older viewers in the audience knew exactly what Cusco was implying. Hey, did you see that sky today? Talk about blue. <laughs> Number 7. Kronk's Mission Impossible Moment As a kid, you probably weren't familiar with Mission Impossible. Maybe it's instantly recognizable theme tune. So, you probably missed that this is what Kronk was alluding to when humming his own theme music. But if anyone's gonna find the fun in disposing of a llama-shaped emperor, it's gonna be him. Unsurprisingly, Cusco isn't particularly impressed with Kronk's humming, but someone over at Disney clearly was. Oh, he's doing his own theme music? Patrick Warburton, who voices the henchman, improvised this melody while in the recording booth. Big, dumb, and tone deaf. I am so glad I was unconscious for all of this. There must be more to it than meets the eye, as Disney allegedly made him sign over the tune's legal rights to them. Mission accomplished. 
Number 6. Citizen Kronk Evidently, there were some big movie buffs working on this animation, as they managed to squeeze not just one, but two movie references into one scene. My shoulder angel. Don't listen to that guy. He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. After Kronk's Mission Impossible moment, he has hesitations about fatally sending the Cusco-filled bag down the pretty intense waterfall. As he grabs the bag, the camera pans out, shrouding the Empire in mist and focuses on a primate feasting on an insect instead. Can we get back to me? If you thought the shot looked familiar, then chances are you've probably seen Citizen Kane. This one was definitely for the adults, as we doubt many kids had likely seen the classic mystery drama. Oh, yes, Mr. Uh, Kane, uh, uh, standing. Uh, how, oh, do yes. do? Uh, how do you do? How do you do? I thought it would be a nice little gesture. Uh, Number five, that old waterfall scene. Get out on your knees, right now! As children, our movie knowledge probably wasn't refined enough to understand the concept of a trope. But this scene, which is arguably one of the funniest in the entire animated film, also serves to educate us on the history of movie cliches. Don't worry, your highness, I gotcha. After Pacha saves Cusco from a pack of big cats, the pair find themselves in yet another predicament. Pacha only has to utter two syllables, and Cusco knows exactly what's headed their way. Uh oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Don't get us wrong, we always found the scene hilarious, even as kids. But watching it back now, we can also appreciate the nuanced meta humor behind this moment. Number 4. Yzma's Secret Weapon When Yzma has Cusco and Pacha cornered in her lair, the Emperor learns that he actually got off quite lightly by being turned into a llama. Yzma, do you really want to kill me? Just think of it as you're being let go. But now, Yzma's ready to finish the job and starts to lift her dress, much to their horror. I can't believe this is happening! Then I bet you weren't expecting this. No! Aha! <gasps> no! uh, oh, oh, okay. Cusco and Pacha panic until she reveals the dagger hidden underneath. Now, as a child, you were probably quite confused as to what she could possibly be hiding under her dress that would be more terrifying than a dagger. What I miss? Well, Yzma just tossed me this knife and asked me to, you know, take them out. We imagine the adults weren't ready to explain this one and simply said that you'd get it when you were older. Number 3. Falling into a plot hole Some people take real joy in pointing out plot holes, like us. But in this case, they were beaten to the punch by the movie's writers. Cusco and Pacha are surprised to learn that Yzma and Kronk beat them back to the lair. Looking for this? Cusco questions how this is even possible, and an equally befuddled Yzma throws the question to her right-hand man. How did we, Kronk? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Kronk concedes that it doesn't make any sense, and then they get straight back to the action. As children, we probably wouldn't have given it a second thought. However, this self-aware joke urged older audiences to suspend their disbelief for the sake of the story. Oh well, back to business. Number 2. Grammar is key Let us start by saying that we certainly don't condone threatening people at all. Hi there. All we're saying is that if you want to get your point across, you better be sure that your grammar is immaculate. Yzma learns this the hard way when she uses the wrong conjunction while threatening Pacha's family. Tell us where the talking llama is, and we'll burn your house to the ground. Ah, uh, don't you mean or? And although back in the day, this joke totally went over our heads, today we'd still probably keep her locked up without some clarification first. Well, which is it? That seems like a pretty crucial conjunction. This was a witty and valuable lesson in just how crucial conjunctions are. Even if we didn't get it then, we can totally appreciate it now. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mahogany. You probably didn't always appreciate the fine craftsmanship of hand-carved mahogany. Break it down, what are you kidding me? This is hand-carved mahogany. I don't care, you fool. Get out of my way. I'll break it down myself. 
Till the Cows Come Home. Be honest, even as an adult, it took a few rewatches to get this joke. Get them! Hey, I've been turned into a cow. Can I go home? The Collapsing Bridge. Did you notice that the planks of wood spell dam as they fall into the river below? Because believe it or not, I think I need a bath. I believe it. What was that? Nothing! Go! <laughs> Cusco! Cusco! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pitching a Tent In the past, Disney has proven to be partial to some subtle adult-oriented humor. In this case, after a long, hard day of chasing Cusco, Yzma and Kronk stop for the night. While Yzma puts the glam in glamping, Kronk's tent raises a few… um… eyebrows. The sight of a grown man in a tiny tent clutching his teddy bear is hilarious for kids. But we all know that this wasn't why the grown-ups were snickering. Kronk's tent is very strategically placed on his body and stays erect without any visible support. <gasps> the peasant! At the diner! It didn't pay his check. We can't even see any poles holding it up. Well, perhaps there's just one. Ha! Boom, baby! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.